Well, it's been a great winter here in Minnesota. And uh, with the great winter and a lot of snow comes a lot of riding. With a lot of riding comes a lot of maintenance. So uh, let me show you what I've been doing in the shop. Well, yeah, and it's not all maintenance. Some of it's just fun. Do a little bit of blinging on the XLT. And uh, I kind of like this shirt. Uh, Wedgelife98.com sent me this shirt. Pretty cool, huh? All right, here's a super simple piece of maintenance. I noticed we need to do it when we were putting the grape eight together. The hood cable. Look at that piece of crap. There's like three strands holding it on. So super easy to change. You just got a couple screws you take loose right there, thread it through the spring, reverse the process. You can see I just got a crappy old ratchet strap holding the hood up for the moment. And it's cheap. So uh, I looked up the player's part number on the uh, Polaris snowmobile website and then I typed it in and on eBay and 708-0368, $12.99 shipping and handling. Jeez, it's not worth messing around making one up with hardware store stuff for that. So uh, I'm just going to put it on. I don't think you need to see the exact steps. You should be able to handle this one. All right, uh, hood cable maintenance accomplished. Just wanted to show you one thing I did. I didn't have the right the right U-nuts and hardware, so I just found some screws, and uh, hopefully that focus is in close enough. I put them on with red Loctite, and then I took a vice grip and squeezed the threads on the end. I don't want those things coming off. You know, in 20 years, if I ever have to take them off, well, I'll get out the grinder, whatever. I don't know. It'll be fine. This way, at least I know they're not going to come off on the trail. All right, another maintenance item. This is the back bumper for the Cross Country Indy. After the last ride, I noticed uh, when I put the dolly on it, it was loose. There was a broken off bolt in this hole. No bolt in this hole. Threads are pretty well stripped. So uh, you can see my solution. I bought one of these rib nut kits. So uh, let's give that a try and see how that works for fixing this. All right, here we are at the vise. Got a letter T drill bit. The chart that came with the tool, the rib nut tool, calls for a uh, 9 millimeter and a T. Well, it's close enough. All right. Is that big enough? Oh, yeah, that'll work. And squeeze. Boy, it takes a little bit of force. It's probably, you don't want to hear a snapping sound with this tool. A uh, snapping sound would indicate that you have broke the tool. So we'll just back it out and see how it looks. Looks like it crushed up pretty good. I don't know if you could see that in there, but uh, it worked. It riveted. So uh, let me grab a piece of hardware quick. All right. I originally had these uh, half inch long bolts. Sure looks like it's going to work. Well, there we go. I think this will solve the problem on the cross country Indy. Well, okay, 100% success rate on the first use. And I squeezed it pretty hard, too. Probably harder than I should have, but everything held up. And uh, the threads fit right. Everything's good. I don't know. I, th I think it's a pretty nice set with all these different mandrels and actually comes with some of those uh, rib nuts. So uh, I'm going to endorse it, and I'll put a link down there in the uh, description in case you want to get one of these uh, when you follow those amazon links in the description it does help the channel a little bit it does help support us so there's the back bumper painted up bolted down 
ready for more use. You know, sled's a rider, so uh, I don't know why powder coat something that's going to get all chipped up on a rider. Oh, powder coat holds up better. Well, paint's easier to touch up. Take your pick. Well, the used water pump I put in the grape ape, she's leaking. But it came off a stuck motor, so what do you expect? So I guess I better change it out. Let me try to show you the leak. So uh, I don't know if you can see this right down in here. Probably looks pretty good on the video on the screen. That was full. I tried to sop it up with the rag. And then I looked underneath and, yep, that's a bunch of antifreeze. So over here, hang on, bear with me. Over here is another water pump that I rebuilt with one of these SPI kits. I don't know, it seems pretty good. Will it hold up? I guess we're gonna find out. Well, there's my problem. I split the O-ring on install, and as you can see, it wasn't even close to the right O-ring. Uh, I didn't have the right O-ring, and I wanted to get this thing together and ride it, so I tried to make it work, and well, it looks like I paid the price, but it's a small price to pay. It only takes about five minutes to pop the pump off and put it back on. So the pump itself here, well, there's no sign of leakage coming out of the uh, weep hole. And uh, clearly the antifreeze was coming from that area, so it had to be the O-ring. So uh, I guess I'm going to use the O-ring from this kit, and then I'll go ahead and try to source some more of the correct O-rings. And uh, I'm just going to slam this thing back together. Just thought I'd give you a quick shot on how I burp the cooling system when I'm alone. A lot of times Brad just picks up the front of the sled, or if it's on the hoist, we do this on the hoist, but here's how I do it on the floor. I just sort of get it over to the vicinity of the hoist, get the front end up, and uh, boy, as I was lifting her up, you could hear things gluggling and gurgling, and uh, she's burped now, ready to ride. All right, Lonnie found these purple LED lights for uh, the dashboard, so we're putting them in the Grape Ape. Uh, yeah. Of course, the purple-headed snow warrior is going to get them. Yeah, going to get a set too. Yep. So uh, we got them. We don't have them all the way in yet. You want to do the honors, Lonnie? Sure, let's, let's pull the rope. rope and have a look at them. Let's give the rope a pull. Oh, oh boy! Oh. oh yeah, ready? Oh, oh yeah. Here, give it another one. It'll it'll go. Oh, it wants a little choke. Give it a half choke. He's still cold. Now pull the choke. Oh, there we go. oh yeah. Looking great. Thanks for ordering those up, Lonnie. That's awesome. Thanks for ordering those up. Yeah, man. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks. All right, here we go again. Give her a little yank, Lonnie. Out here in the shop tonight doing a couple little things on the XLT. Check out this shirt. Is this cool or what? So this came from Shane Jackson at uh, wedgelife98.com. Go check out his website if you want to get some cool XLT shirts. I really like this one, and uh, I probably wear it on the Wyoming Fun Ride in a couple days. And uh, that's not all I got from Shane. Check this out. Yep, Shane is also Indie Dash Plates. So uh, I'll put links to all this stuff, but uh, I don't know if you can see this. It says Grape Ape on it with some flags. So uh, I'm going to get that stuff mounted up on the sled, and uh, I'll maybe do a little fast forward, maybe not, and I'll be back when we're done. All right, not much to this. Take off your screws, get your gauges off, gauges hold the dash plate on. thing and take it out. Gotta pull your lights off. By the way, this is where the purple LEDs go that we put on the other day. Alright, so your gauge plate Obviously, it's held on by your gauges. Uh, the holes are too big for the screws to catch in.
All right, that was the hard part. Now for the easy. A little Windex. Clean that off. This is just a peel and stick, so you do have to be careful. You got one shot. All right, there it is. I'm sure it's going to look even better out in the sunlight. Can't really read the grape ape too much here in the shop. Depends on how you look at it, but uh, I've seen them on other people's sleds. I know they really pop in the sunlight, so that'll be awesome. Pretty happy with this. All right, so there's a look at what goes on in the shop when we're not in project mode. We fix a lot of stuff. We, uh, you know, do some upgrades to make stuff cooler. And uh, sometimes we come across a really awesome shirt. So thanks, Shane. And the uh, information for Shane for Indie Dash Plates and WedgeLife98.com will be in the description of this video. Huge thanks to uh, all the patrons. You guys are the best. We really appreciate your support. Everybody else, if you're looking to support the channel, check out the Patreon page. Patrons get the videos first, uh, depending on, you know, how many videos I've made and what time span. They may see them up to two, three weeks early, or sometimes they may just see them like the night before. But they always see the videos first. Thanks to everybody else that supported the channel through uh, gener generous PayPal donations or sending us stuff in the mail or whatever. Uh, really appreciate the support, and uh, we'll see you on the trails.